first two figures that we're going to be going over today on this edition of Who's Lucy is going to be the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Raphael and Michelangelo from the Best Action, B-S-T-A-X-N line. It's just another line that just recently, or company rather, that just came on recently to the scene. I'm sure you've seen them at Walmart with some of the other franchises that they actually make figures for. So I'm going to be going over in depth for those. I did recently uh, do an unboxing of these particular figures, but for whatever reason, my computer lost all of its data. And of course, I threw away all the boxes, all the stuff has been put away as far as like the extra hands and whatnot. So I can't really do the unboxing all over again because it's already unboxed. But the other figure that I'm going to be going over today on the Who's Lucy is the Foot Clan Foot Soldier. And then again, this is the cartoon version of the Foot Clan, also by BSTAXN, Best Action Figures. And of course, this is the same thing. I unboxed this previously, but uh, the data was lost on my computer. So we're going to redo these as a Who's Lucy. So let's get started, folks. All right, so we're going to be starting off with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the BSTAXN. And uh, as I said before, I'm not sure if they're going on the play on words where they want you to say best action. Um, but uh, yeah, so right off the bat, I mean, I was uh, very disinterested in getting this line. Um, I'm kind of forgetting exactly what made me want to buy them. Um, but I mean, I think if they probably were just like on sale and I just picked them up because, you know, you got to like Kyle P Peterson says, you got to get a deal, right? But uh, these are basically representing the cartoon turtles. They're not representing the comic version or even the uh, video game version, which I don't believe NECA or any other toy line has um, made those yet. I would imagine at some point in time, it's gonna have a following as to you know, people wanting the video game turtles. I'm not talking about like the uh, arcade version. I'm talking about the uh, Nintendo version that a lot of us 80s and 90s kids were uh, <laughs> enraged and brought out our anger because that game was so hard you could never I don't even know if anybody actually that I know of that actually beat the game um, especially that water scene where you actually have to disable those bombs for those of you that know what I'm talking about uh, you probably got a little anger coming up right now just thinking about it so I'm sorry I had to open that wound but um, right off the bat when I brought them out, um, and again, this, these were figures that I actually did an unboxing video, but my computer uh, crashed and I lost all that footage that I already recorded. So rather than do an unboxing, this is actually a Who's Lucy. But they, they do come with an attachment that comes in the back of the shell. I'm not sure why, but you can remove them. Uh, I'm not sure as to what the thought process behind that was. If anybody knows why they do that, sorry about that, but I don't, I, if anybody knows why they do that, um, just, you know, put it in the comment section. I really would like to know what the thought process was behind the, the belt um, being attached on the back. Like, I could understand if it was the storage shell, you know, turtles, which I've unboxed before, where, <clears throat> you know, you, you have to open up the shell on the back, so if that was removable that would make sense but this doesn't make sense to me unless i'm just not getting why they did it you know if it's obvious you know somebody just uh, kind of let me know but same thing on michelangelo the back of the shell there's an attachment for where you can actually put his uh, nunchucks i actually have both nunchucks on him normally i only just put the one and i put the other one in the back of his uh, shell just uh, wanted to try something different. These are a little bit smaller than the Playmates and of course the, the NECA stuff that you see. You can see right here the scale. This is Raphael, the re-release of the regular ones. Ah, come on. Man, I am all sorts of messed up today. So as I said, you can see the scale is a lot uh, not necessarily smaller, but they're thinner and they're just, uh, the scale's different than the Playmates and of course the NECA, even the Ultimates, they're, cause the Ultimates are really big. But um, 
the paint application as far as like the eyes are cool you know because it doesn't look like this was actually part of the scan just the actual bandana that goes over their face the articulation that's one of the things that actually is pretty cool about this um, you can articulate them at the thigh the knees even the foot which we all know that for the turtles pin the joints although it does go if you kind of like don't pay attention to it it does kind of go in with the green uh, the wrists are movable the elbow and even the so the elbow and even the actual arm right at the shoulder and then of course the shoulder itself so that's actually kind of cool that's I've never seen it like well maybe I have hold on yeah so even on a Marvel legend like here you can't well yeah I mean, maybe you can okay i've never actually noticed that so i take that back but um for a basic figure like this i can see the appeal oh um, and also with just uh i don't know if i actually said this before so real quick i'm just getting these so michelangelo we also know that he has the nunchucks right well if you are a fan like myself and watched the, the cartoon turtles which obviously these are representing you will remember that the if you grew up in the 80s and the 90s nunchucks uh were a big thing back in the day where people a lot of parents and you know uh religious groups and um i forget who else had a problem basically they had a problem with it being able to be sold to the public especially children because you know if you get like an actual real one that's made of wood or possibly you know metal a lot of people were getting a lot of concussions and hurting each other because they don't know how to use them especially children um, and so later on in the seasons of the cartoon they changed uh, Michelangelo's weapons into this the grappling hook So he actually comes with the grappling hook, Raphael and Michelangelo. This is what I'm actually uh, wanted to share that is different about all the other toy lines. They come with different heads and it's not an ultimate. So if you wanted to change their heads, you can. They do also come with um, other extra hands. I dropped the other one. So they come with a fist or an open one like this. So you can pose them in like a ninja pose uh but that that is actually what i thought was really really interesting is that the michelangelo does come with a grappling hook in honor of the um, weapon that he was using in the later seasons of the show of the original show um i don't think they actually used that in the 2012 era nor have they done it in the 2003 era of the turtles so Correct me if I'm wrong, comment in the comment section if he's used a grappling hook, Michelangelo, in the 2012 era or the 2003. I don't remember the 2003 um, he was using, just only the nunchucks, not the grappling hook. But, you know, I don't think I'm going to be going heavily deep into this line. Maybe I'll get, I'll get all four turtles. I only have two, so I need Leonardo and uh, Rock, you know, Leonardo and Donatello. Um, and maybe I'll get Shredder just to kind of keep it you know i don't know if they actually came out with splinter yet i know rocksteady and bebop and shredder and casey jones are the ones that i saw coming out recently and i'm gonna get to this guy in a moment but i don't think they came out with any other ones other than these but yeah so let's go to the next one all right so uh, finalizing this video on the who's lucy is the foot soldier uh this is uh partly the reason why I actually wanted to start getting these figures because when I saw that they were actually doing the turtle uh, cartoon because that basically cemented as to why they did it this way I know in like the comics they, they make it look like the Toon Turtles um, and when I say Toon the cartoon turtles and of course a lot of the merchandise for the turtles all kind of look kind of goofy like this but when they actually came out with this made me say okay well now they're actually trying to like really give us 
a different take as far as like the merchandise goes and giving us an actual cartoon um, foot soldier because the foot soldier, I don't think I have the foot soldier in the Playmates re-release, I do not. So that's something I have to get um, if I can find it. If you guys know where I can get like a real good deal on a foot soldier re-release or even um, an original with a really good price, let me know. But <clears throat> so basically this comes with uh, some shurikens. I actually put it away, so I apologize. But he also comes with a, um, like a blaster. It's, uh, almost kind of like, uh, like a machine gun, sort of. If you've played the games, the arcade games, you know what gun I'm talking about. And <clears throat> so this uh, figure is actually really, really uh, thin. And it's really light as far as like the weight is concerned. The scale is about the same, I would say, you know, as far as like the turtles, they're not, generally they're we're supposed to be a little taller than the turtle themselves, but it's very, very loose. I would definitely get a stand for these because, you know, if you move it just a little bit, it's just gonna fall down. It's actually fallen down on me when I try to stand it up many, many times, even when I was actually doing the unboxing the first time, it did that a lot. Um, so the same articulation on the the wrists and of course the, the the elbow the bicep and of course the shoulder this one as far as like the head doesn't move that well because of just the way it's constructed um the knees and the ankles as well so <clears throat> i'm looking to see whether or not they actually come out with maybe a different color version to kind of go along with the game but I think they're really trying to stay loose and close to the cartoon itself. And I think that's what they were going for. It's uh, the best action series actually has a lot of one. Like you can get like different franchises like uh, they have Kiss, uh, Naruto and, you know, things that I need. So they have a lot of different franchises that you can get from best action. But this is the one that kind of like I was at really apprehensive about getting it at first i mean they're not bad i'm not trying to say that they suck um i just have a preference of other figures that i say if you said okay give me your top three to say it in the top three of the ones that i would pick for these this franchise as far as figures are concerned but yeah so that does it for this edition of who's lucy brought to you by jane j toy giants be sure to like and subscribe and also comment on any of our video submissions on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and follow us on TikTok, and also follow us on Twitch. I actually did a Twitch stream at the time of this recording just uh, yesterday, early in the morning, but thank you so very much, guys. Keep on cruising. See you later.